time. Most of us live by the clock. Whenever we measure how long it takes to get from one place to another, or how long it takes for something to happen, we measure rates. Rates measure the pace of our lives and our technology. Probably the most fundamental rate we experience is the turning of the Earth. When we say that the Earth makes one revolution per day, that is its rate of movement. Technology must operate at specific rates. If events take place too quickly or too late, the job cannot be done properly. So measuring rate is important. Rate is a measurement of what happens and how long it takes to happen. In a mechanical system, objects are moved from one place to another over a period of time. A mechanical rate is the distance the object moves or how far over time. How far might be feet, miles, or kilometers. The time could be seconds or hours, so feet per second or kilometers per hour are mechanical rates. A mechanical rate can also measure an event and how often it happens in a period of time. This machine makes 48 milk containers per minute. That's the productivity rate, the rate at which this mechanical system operates. A fluid rate measures how much is moved in a period of time. How quickly these firefighters can put out the fire depends in part on the volume of water that moves through the hoses during the time they're fighting the fire. This fluid rate might be measured in gallons per minute or liters per second. An electrical rate is also a measurement of how much moves in a period of time. How much is the amount of electrical charge, or coulombs, that move through a circuit every second? Look closely at the meter on the side of a building. The rate at which the wheel inside the meter turns indicates the rate at which electrical charge is moving through the circuits in the building. How much is also important in thermal systems? How much heat energy moves from one place to another in a period of time? rate. It measures how far, how often, or how much over time. How much fluid? How much electric charge? How much heat energy moves in a given period? Usually, a technological system has many different types of rate in operation at the same time. A power dam, for example, operates on fluid rates, mechanical rates, electrical and thermal rates. They all work together and they all affect each other. John Miller is an operator. His job is to make sure that the interaction of all these rates is precisely controlled. The first rate we'll discuss is the fluid rate. By controlling the, the gate position, we can control the, the rate at which water flows through the turbine. Right now, we're at about 42% of gate opening. That will equate to about 2,400 cubic feet per second of water flow. That, in turn, will drive the rotating mass of the generator at a speed or a rate of 150 RPM. Those two factors combined will give us an output or an electrical rate of approximately 37 megawatts or 37 million watts. As a result of this transfer of energy, we have a thermal rate of heating in the various bearings in the generator. We apply cooling water to them to dissipate that heat. We've got a drawing right over here that'll show you that. Water enters the hydroelectric unit through this passage here called a scroll case. It flows then through these wicket gates, which control the rate of flow of water onto this turbine, which converts the hydraulic horsepower into mechanical horsepower here. As this turbine rotates, it drives the 
rest of the generating machine through this connected steel shaft here that goes up to the generator itself. The rate of, of heat exchange caused by all these conversions is controlled by the amount of water flowing through these coolers here, which are used to dissipate that heat. Now that you've looked at rate in a number of different ways, let's start over and see if you can spot mechanical, fluid, electrical rates in this little scene. You have just seen many different examples of rate. Now let's see how many you found. The clock itself is a mechanical system, but it's actually based on the rate at which the earth turns. Oh, man. This one's a little tricky because he's controlling the rate of heat flow from the water heater. This one's obvious. If you said thermal rate for the toaster, you were right. But it's also electrical, as was the coffee pot. In fact, all electrical appliances depend on a steady flow of electricity from the household circuit. This one's easy. Revolutions per minute is a mechanical rate. In addition, the movement of the car as a whole is a mechanical rate. We move fluids from place to place at specific rates, but with this fluid, we pump it in at one rate, and we burn it at another rate, which affects our gas mileage. far something moves over time. How often something happens over time. Or how much of something moves over time are rates. Controlling rate is controlling the very pulse of our technology. By the way, did you wonder why our hero was late getting to work? Sometimes if rate is not carefully controlled, somebody has to pay the consequences. Car registered your name? Yeah. It's just been one of those days, you know, nothing is going right, I'm running late to work. Let's build my coffee.